On Fox News, Stuart Varney and Brian Kilmeade are going to discuss the government shutdown. Stocks dropped last week as Congress failed to agree on a funding plan to keep the government running, and nothing happened this weekend. The market's open in just a few hours, and with the shutdown looming less than 24 hours away, what can we expect? Stuart Varney has an idea. He's here to weigh in as he gets set for Varney and Company. Stuart, big drop. Uh, about 100 points at the opening bell in a couple of hours from now. That, that's not a huge drop. The Dow's at 15,000 and change. You're down 100 points. That is not a huge decline. I mean, we're still going to have some government services. We're still going to have the post office. We're going to get Medicare. Yep. We're still going to get Social Security yep. if there is a shutdown. So what is Wall Street worried about? Look, most people won't notice. If the government shuts down at midnight tonight, most people will not notice. National parks are closed, 800,000 federal workers furloughed, okay? Most people won't notice that. What Wall Street is worried about is a totally separate issue. Which that is? comes up in the middle of October. That's the decision on whether or not we raise the debt ceiling. Can the government borrow any more money? This current fight is whether we can spend any more money. Two weeks later, it's can we borrow any more money. Now, that's a more serious fight. The one we're fighting right now is not that big a deal for Wall Street. Hold on a second. There, there are, in fact, a couple of positives out of the shutdown. Number one, interest rates are going down this morning. Good news for the housing market. You want a refi, you want a mortgage, that's good news. Oil prices are plummeting this morning. No, 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 no. The government shutdown is actually a good thing. It's a good thing. No, see, Wall Street is kind of cool with it for now, and the Republicans, don't you dare blame the Republicans. The Republicans are on your side. The Republicans are fighting for you. That's why if the Republicans are responsible for the government shutdown, you should actually vote for more Republicans. Can Fox News be any more obvious in their tremendous bias in favor of the right wing? I mean, it oozes from their segments. Now, are you ready for some real facts? The last government shutdown, 1995-1996, 284,000 federal workers were furloughed, uh, and around 475,000 uh, essential employees went without a paycheck. The Small Business Administration, this time around, will stop making loans. Federal home loan uh, guarantees stop. The National Institute of Health will stop accepting new patients and delay or stop clinical trials. Gee, what could go wrong there if the National Institute of Health stops accepting new patients and clinical trials stop? Nothing to see here. Don't worry. Look away. The government shutdown is actually a good thing. Uh, the EPA stops doing their job. Isn't that wonderful? You know, who doesn't want uh, a society where I industry and chemical companies can get away with doing whatever the fuck they want to do because the EPA is asleep at the wheel, even more so than they already are? Yeah, n no problem with government shutdown here. Food inspectors have to stop. The only situation where they could come back is if there's an imminent danger. So in other words, what that means is after there's a salmonella outbreak or an E. coli outbreak or a, a, a listeria outbreak, well, then they can come back and do the recalls and make sure that no, no extra people die after the first batch of 200, 300 people die from poisoned fucking food, which could have been stopped in the first place if you didn't do a government shutdown. But no, nothing to see here. Who wants food inspectors? Do you want your food inspected before you eat it? I don't know about you. I like mine to come to go straight from the greedy corporation that only cares about profits directly to my plate. That's what I like. Uh, the National Guard, uh, a group of relief workers for the National Guard uh, are being held back from going to Colorado because of the government shutdown. They're not going to allow any more aid from the National Guard to go to Colorado after these tremendous floods. So emergency relief is being halted. But no, nothing wrong with the government shutdown. Fox News is in favor of the government shutdown. Right, and these guys like to think they're patriotic Americans. Well, what about the Americans who are in Colorado who are suffering? How about them? Oh, you didn't bring those up. You didn't bring those guys up. Funny, you only brought up the Republican Party and Wall Street. Gee, I wonder who you care about. Uh, and, of course, the last government shutdown cost the country 0.5 percentage points of gross domestic product and uh, more than $2 billion dollars. So here we're faced with a situation where the Republican Party is going to take $2 billion, flush it down the toilet, and then blame the Democrats. And this is the party that likes to call themselves fiscal conservatives. They're fiscally responsible. Yeah, totally fiscally responsible to take $2 billion and flush it down the fucking toilet.